Hey guys, welcome to your general reading energy check-in for the zodiac sign of Taurus. Uh, this is going to be for the second half of your May from the 16th to the 31st. Um, we're going to look at your over energies, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know for the second half of your month, and then we'll take a look at what the possible outcome in the first part. So this could be in anything. This could be in um, love, romance, uh, relationships, friendships. Uh, family, um, career, finances, personal development, spiritual development. So we'll just see what the cards have to say. Uh, before we get started, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get up-to-date content that's being uploaded onto my channel. Um, give this video a thumbs up. Uh, so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this message. And um, also, uh, if this message resonated with you, um, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Um, yeah, that's it. All right, let's uh, get started. Over energies for Taurus. What is surrounding Taurus? What does Taurus need to know? What can Taurus expect for the second half of their May from the 16th to the 31st? Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck. All right. Uh, Nine of Wands. Seven of Swords. You have the Page of Wands. You have the Empress, Taurus, Libra energy. Queen of Swords. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy, and the Six of Wands. Okay. So what is your current overall energies? Wow. We have the Page of Cups, Knight of Cups, and Ace of Cups. There might be potential new love here for you, but I feel like you're trying to get away with that. Or get away from that. Because um, I just feel like you're in this energy of like sort of focusing on you. I just feel like there are these all these other people that are around you trying to offer you a cup of love. People are attracted to you, but I feel like you're pushing it away. I feel like you're not trusting these people. Or like you're in this energy of like not trusting love. Because I feel like with this Queen of Swords, you have your boundaries up. But let's get some more messages just to see what's going on. Alright, tell me about this Nine of Wands. Three of Swords that flipped out. Yeah, you're not trusting it because you've been hurt so many times, um, Taurus. All right, let's see here. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. You have the Page of Swords. I feel like you're not trusting people's words. You're not trusting people's actions. You're not just not trusting anyone. Yeah, I, I just I just feel like you're not trusting anything. Animals, aliens, I don't know. Uh, tell me about the Page of Wands. All right, Four of Swords. I feel like you're definitely taking a break from dating. I do feel like people are coming towards you because people are viewing you as an empress here. But I feel like you're just focusing on your own abundance, your own victory, your own success here. Tell me about the empress. Yeah, you have the hangman. So I, you're taking a step back here. I feel like you're in this energy of sort of really doing you, taking care of yourself. I feel like you're trying to seek some sort of uh, some sort of an enlightenment here, sort of grow, evolve. 
Uh, tell me about the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. Tell me about the Six of Wands and the Six of Swords. Okay. All right, we have the Death card on the bottom of the deck here. Scorpio Energy. So Taurus, I mean, you might have some water in your chart here. You could be dealing with someone that has Scorpio in their chart, but I'm getting multiple energies here. Um, multiple new energies, uh, because it seems like people are, you know, there could be this energy of also at a workplace where you don't trust these people too, because these people are out to get you. Yeah, I just feel like you're just sort of like unbothered by it right now. Yeah, I feel like you're sort of disengaged from these people. So take it as it resonates, okay, um, Taurus? All right, you have the um, Nine of Wands being clarified by the Three of Swords, the Seven of Swords being clarified by the Page of Swords. Okay, we have the Page of Wands being clarified by the Four of Swords, the Empress being clarified by the Hangman. We have the Queen of Cups clarifying the Queen of Swords, the Six of Wands being clarified by the Six of Swords. All right. So I'm going to take a look at what the possible outcome and advice are. And if someone else comes up, we'll, we'll take a look at that person, like a, like a more a specific person, because I'm getting more than one here. Um, OK. All right, what is the outcome and advice here for Taurus regarding the situation for the second half of May from the 16th to the 31st? All right, what does Taurus want to know? What can Taurus expect? So now we have a masculine energy here. Let's see. Um, let's split the deck. All right, Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. We have the Four of Swords. And the Four of Swords right there. We have the Five of Wands. We have the Nine of Wands again. We have the Full Aries Aquarius energy and the Ace of Swords. Okay. Uh, so s either you or someone, this someone here is yearning for a new beginning because right now both of you guys are disengaged from each other. So I don't know if this King of Pentacles is coming back to fight or something like that, but um, there's this energy of really cutting out the BS and moving forward here. Uh, let's get some more messages. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, okay. Yeah, I'm not even going to do an, uh, the, this other person. It seems like there's this energy of disengaging from each other, and this King of Pentacles is walking away. Uh, tell me about the Four of Swords, or they could be returning, but that's the devil. So this person comes in and out of your life as uh, as they please. I feel like this person might come back to stir up some shit. Tell me about the Five of Wands. You have the Queen of Cups here. And then you have the Queen of Cups right there. 
tell me about the Nine of Wands. All right, we have the Queen of Wands. Tell me about the Fool. The Two of Wands. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. And Justice. Yeah, I just... Okay, so you might have been dealing with this person maybe for a little bit, but I feel like someone's coming back for some reconciliation here. Uh, a, a toxic ex maybe, someone toxic from the past. It either could be a friend, a family member, even a coworker. But I feel like you've been fighting with this person for a while. I feel like you've been arguing with this person. I feel like this person has hurt you. I feel like this person has lied to you. Um, yeah, I just feel like this person that's coming back, you're not really trusting them. I feel like there's this energy of, you know, making a decision and cutting out the BS here. So this person's true feelings and intentions are to, if you guys are in no contact, I feel like this person is going to break no contact and this person is going to come back and argue or fight with you or stir up some stuff. Yeah, from what I could tell, I feel like you're just sick and tired of this person. And with this Ace of Swords and this Justice, you're going to cut this out. You're not going to allow this to happen. Yeah, I feel like you're just going to remain in your strength, remain in your power here, remain in your Empress energy. I feel like there's more than one person fighting over for you. Um, you know, with these pages here, uh, this King of Pentacles, I feel like this person stalks you or something like that. Yeah, look at that. We have Judgment, Strength, Five of Wands, the world, just moving on from the drama and just being the effing Empress. Yeah, just being the effing Empress. But I feel like all these female energies, I mean, we've drew, no. We're just missing one female energy, but I feel like all these queens is this empress here, um, Taurus. So I feel like that's you. Yeah, but then you have this male energy that you've been dealing with that probably broke your heart. You're not trusting this person. Yeah, like I said, this could be, you know, an ex. This could be a friend, a family member, um, a co-worker or something like that. But someone's definitely trying to resurrect this. All right, Taurus. King of Pentacles being clarified by the Eight of Cups. Four of Swords being clarified by the Devil. All right, you have the Five of Wands being clarified by the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Wands clarifying the Nine of Wands. The Fool being clarified by the Two of Wands. And then the Ace of Swords being clarified by the Justice card. Yeah, I just feel like you're just moving on. Yeah, I, I feel like you might, might have some other suitors too. Yeah, look at that. I mean, we have the Page of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and the Ace of Cups. But, um, Taurus, this is your general reading energy check-in for second half of May 2021. If this resonated, please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.